Greetings from Park City, Utah. We are at the corner of Park Avenue and Main Street. Today is Sunday, December 31st, 2023, so New Year's Eve. It is 3.36 p.m. Mountain Time, and the temperature is 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Although the sun is out, it's a bit, a little bit chilly, I did a driving video leading up to this to go from Layton to Park City, so if you want to check that out, feel free to. It wasn't snowy on the drive up here, but you can tell that down by Park City they get snow more frequently, as you see it in the various yards. Now, I'm going to be showing off mainly Main Street today, but I'm going to be showing off the portion where all the businesses are. I just like to kind of start at the top of this hill to show you the one or two blocks that lead up to all the busyness because traffic was hectic again. I've only been to Park City once before. I think that was on July 3rd of 2021 maybe? We'll call it that. Uh, or no, that was probably 2022. July 3rd of 2022. And that was also a Sunday, but since it was during the summer, they had their farmer's market and street vendors all over the place. You can see some places here on Main Street, the house is still decorated for Christmas time. As we're only a week removed from the big holiday. But anyway, when I was here, my first time, because they had this street vendors and the farmers market there were no cars on main street it was just you know everyone who was walking could walk down the sidewalks or down the middle of the street but now uh there's a you have to kind of keep an eye out because traffic is permitted on the streets and then you can imagine at nighttime they've got the christmas lights going back and forth across Main Street. This is sort of where you're going to begin with all the businesses. It's going to be a large mix of restaurants and clothing shops, art galleries, and other miscellaneous things. I also have to be careful if I'm walking off the sidewalk because there's big patches of ice. This will also be my first time getting a chance to explore these snow globes that they bring out for the holiday season. They're supposed to be on display through January 5th, 2024, but they've had them up probably all of December. And the parking, at least in the parking garage that I was in, was $1 per hour. So, even though you have to find a space, the, the rates are not expensive for the parking. If you want to stay at Park City, you've also got a place like the Treasure Mountain Inn Hotel. It says there's also a conference center there. But here's one of the snow globes I was referring to. This one is Santa with all of the reindeer. They're supposed to be playing Christmas music, but if I put my ear up to it, I don't hear music on this particular one. We'll see if we get to the other ones, if they're playing music or not. See, Wasatch Brew Pub has their beer keg Christmas tree up.
here's an example of one of the art galleries. There's quite a few of them throughout Main Street. Let's see if we can cross the street here. Give you a nice shot down Main Street. So over here on the left would be tequila, a Mexican grill and cantina. See a big stairs that take you up to Park Avenue. <laughs> Mountain Trails Gallery. So mix of sculptures. There's Sock City. So if you want to get your endless amount of socks, well, they're closed right now, but we can window shop them a little bit. So this would always be a fun Christmas gift or birthday gift or whatever for someone because all the unique designs that they have on them. And you can see further on, I mean, the entire store is different sock designs. I wonder if they have like sports or if it's just specifically uh, various characters. Oh, you know, I just answered my own question. I don't know if you can see through the window there, but I see like Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, a few other teams. Not sure if they have them all. Do they have the Cleveland Browns in there? Yeah, I can't tell, but they definitely do have sports sports socks I'll try to grab a picture of this because I want to feature on social media like some of the businesses that are located here too I'm going to try to keep cutting back and forth across the street too because some of these places do have Christmas window displays up still like Southwestern Expressions with the funny little Rudolph reindeers, or reindeers rather, for Christmas time, and the cool ornaments. Red banjo sandwiches, pizza, pasta, and salads. Let's see what their prices are. Create your own pizza. Uh, they actually don't list prices on here. <laughs> they just list the menu, I think. Oddly enough, they list price for one item, spaghetti with garlic bread, $11.99. Unless I'm just missing it. Egyptian theater here. Looks like the Drifters are going to be playing today. Rock and Roll Hall of Famers and legendary doo-wop R&B and soul vocal group from the Golden Age. And you've got upcoming groups. And there is, a, if you don't feel like walking, it looks like there's a free trolley that goes up and down Main Street. 
So over here is Northwoods Unique Gifts, T-shirts. You can see they've got some dowdle puzzles of Park City Square or Skiing Park City. Get some ornaments, you got little mooses or reindeer holding Park City signs. Some stuffed animals, Bigfoot, Sasquatch. Some Park City t-shirts and then also uh, the store goes on both sides. Oh no, that's, this one may be a different place actually. Pine Jewelry and Home. Cute holiday displays. And over here you've got a few clothing places. Koto Paxi. Or who's not obsessed with Lululemon? Looks like we've got our second snow globe tucked away on the stairwell here. So it's a two-sided snow globe. This one, you've got the snowman. Oh, I see. The song plays when you, if you press here for the song. Well, that's actually good because I don't want to get copyrighted. We've got Santa with Christmas tree delivering presents. I'm going to press it for a second, but not stay around. All right, so it does play the song. <laughs> of course, we are we are after Christmas, so people probably don't want to hear the holiday songs as much. <laughs> Let's see where we want to go next. I'm trying to do a nice mix of going back and forth across the streets, but also I don't have to showcase every single item. Some of them are bars and grills. Here's Gorsuch, looks like another clothing place. And they've got a cool gingerbread house featured in the window. cowboy shop here. Oh, that's actually pretty busy. Lots of cowboys I guess in town. So across the street there you've got Java Cow Cafe and Bakery. I imagine that's a popular place for trying to snag a bakery item. This is a one-way street but it takes you up to Park Avenue. You have an attorney on the upstairs, but on the lower level, a gourmet and gift shop. La Niche Gourmet and Gift Shop. Shirt off my back, so a clothing store. A lot of Park City shirts, it looks like. And then on our left side here, we've got our third snow globe. The 
there's also restrooms over there, so it's nice to know that they have public restrooms. Someone pressed the music for this one. got various statues throughout Main Street. So this guy here, we're going to read up on the backstory of him. It says, miners are the anonymous thousands whose only monuments are the waste dumps in the mountains. This sculpture is dedicated to their remarkable accomplishments. Okay, so let's cut across the street here. We got Don Gallo. Looks like a Mexican breakfast place. They've got a few inflatables for Santa and his reindeer, as well as a Santa that flew into the building. Here's our fourth snow globe. This one doesn't appear to be rotating, although I don't know if all of them have to rotate. There's supposed to be seven of those snow globes. I believe we've covered four of them so far. It's even cool how like this little fence here has a nice artwork up at the Park City Jewelry Store. Flanagan's Irish Pub and Restaurant. I wonder if they have heated decks on some of these places because you can see over there there are people out on the second deck outside. I mean it's not unbearable if you're outside as long as you're dressed for it because there's no biting wind happening today. You can also see on the street poles they've got the banners throughout the road. Oh, there's actually a United States Post Office here on Main Street. Unless that's just a historic building. I assume it's still in operation. There's an Annex Burger over to our right. I'm going to pop back over there. Let's see here couple of cars coming. So that was the No Name Slew with the second deck on it. And then the burger place. Artworks Gallery. <laughs> These are some pretty unique things. I like the painting of Park City. It's kind of what we've just been walking, although much fewer people. But then look at these creatures. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe them. Remind me of Chomps or something, but they're skiing. There's a lot more of those random things throughout the store. Or how about this? Two bananas dancing together. So this is like a quirky art place. I could see myself digging this and like finding something that uh, stands out. I don't know, like the back of that thing's 
one of those creatures beholding a grenade. That post office is open, by the way. There's another tea shop, t-shirt shop. And you've got a little alcove, Trapper's Way. Five oh one on Main. And across the street, Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, as well as a small Park City Museum. You can probably learn about the history of. Park City, I imagine. The North Face Clothing Shop. So you've got a nice mix of, I mean, you know, Lululemon, North Face, some of the other ones, those are big time, uh, you know, retailers, which makes sense because they can sell clothing meant for outdoor activities. Trying to keep my eye out if there's any more snow globes. This is an example of the museum. Probably some of the merchandise inside. Books and other things. I don't think they're open right now. I did make one mistake. I didn't bring my gloves with me. <laughs> my hands are doing okay, but would have been more comfortable with those gloves on. The sign across the street says warm cookies. You've even got a mini 7-Eleven. Main Street Pizza and Noodle here. They are jam-packed inside. Look at that pizza. So I think I'm gonna cut back across the street. We've got a general store over here. Oh, at least the top part says general store. The bottom part just says casual elegance for men and women. So I think the general store is more of a throwback to what whatever used to be here back in the day. They've got some photo opportunities here where you can act like you're on a ski. But then over here off of Main Street, I see the fifth snow globe. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, when I did that July 2022 video, I started the live stream right around here you can see the this snow globe with the deer trees and snowmen <laughs> but i also like seeing mrs moose all decorated up
last year we were able to park over there in that lot, but that was full when I came up, so I ended up parking at a uh, parking garage that was well further down the road, that direction. So let's keep on going here. Also see statue of the bear, <laughs> Franz the bear from October 2000. There's Athleta, so another prominent clothing store here. Over here on the right, I do remember this. This is kind of like a mini mall within the mall. I'm not gonna pass through it now because they're playing music. visiting Utah, I would say Park City is definitely a worthwhile pit stop to make. If you're going toward the Salt Lake City, like if you're already in Salt Lake, it's probably like a 35 minute ride away. And I believe there's actually public transportation that might take you from like near Salt Lake City. <laughs> into uh, into Park City so that might be something to look for too if you didn't rent a car because otherwise it's like there's no way you're going to get here via walking or anything like that there's a Rocky Mountain shirt company more t-shirts and souvenirs for Park City five snow globes down there should be two more to go during that summer video I did the most picturesque spot was a little bit further down where that uh, bridge is because there would be like a sky lift that would could take you up into the mountains that's probably the bus I was referring to that goes Eh, I'm not sure actually. It might just be a Park City only bus. Crossing. Yes. Thank you. So that's nice that this this is probably one of the busier intersections for both traffic and pedestrians. So they have two crossing guards. It's actually nice to see main street without all the farmers market and street vendor stuff because it was like so busy that day that i had a tough time like absorbing what the actual stores were but it's also nice today that it's still busy like i love all, all the foot traffic that's out it's, but it's not too overbearing if that makes sense we got sunglasses hut over there I see another snow globe over here. So that would be six. A 
there's also a plaza down here where there's some more restaurants if you go forward and to the left. This one's a golden or musical Christmas tree playing, rocking around the Christmas tree. Here's Atticus Coffee, Tea House, and Books. Very popular. Man, that is scrunched in there. <laughs> Park City Sports Clothing. And what's this over here? Collie's Sports Bar and Grill. Dogs are welcome in the patio, it says. They've got a piano bar over here. I'm not sure if it's open right now, but from my recollection, that area over there when I went there the one time was kind of like more Deadsville. But over there, that's the ski lift that I was talking about. We're going to walk over the bridge into that plaza, and I do see our final snow globe down there. Oh, look, you can see even the skiers <laughs> coming down the little bit of the hill. This one sounds like it's speaking to me, an Italian restaurant, but I think they're closed. Oh, they're open, I think. So here's one of the bridges where you're going to get that awesome shot. I mean, the shot's good from this perspective, but it's also good because you're looking down Main Street. So overall, it's just like a good spot for pictures. I'm gonna take a quick uh, selfie, so bear with me. I see some ambulance fire truck activity over there, so I'm not sure what that's about. taking a bunch of pictures because I'm pretty sure this spot here is going to be my thumbnail for the video. So these are ski rental places right here. And actually, <laughs> now that I'm looking over here, that was walkable to me in the past when I was here in summer. Now you can clearly see that it's covered in ice and snow. So you I mean, some people are still walking that direction, but I don't know if that's advisable. You also have the Bridge Cafe and Grill over here. And then there's the ski lift up there with people going up and down. I know it's hard to tell, but that is going all the way up there, far into the beyond where you can see.
bright side, like this is sort of what I think of as the end of Main Street. So that's why I started where I did, up the hill, instead of the other way around. So kind of, my fingers are so cold right now that I can't, uh, wasn't able to flip the camera around right away. Let's head down the stairs and see our final snow globe. That way we can check that off the bucket list. <laughs> this is something with all the ice and then the water fountain still going but into the ice. Imagine that freezing. Trying to wait for it to spin around so we can see Santa Claus at the top of the ski lift with his reindeer. Well, I think that will do it for our New Year's Eve special walk down Park City's Main Street. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button. Tell us in the comments about if you've ever been to Park City and what your thoughts are of it. And have a happy 2024. We will see you next time. It's a real quick bit of bonus footage. That plaza that I pointed to earlier and said was kind of Deadsville in the past. I mean, in terms of foot traffic, it is. Like you can see, no one's walking back here, but I should point out uh, there's a Magnum electric bikes shop here. Shout out to my mom who's always inter interested in seeing uh, electric bike things. And then one thing I couldn't, I was about to walk back toward the car and I, was, I saw this in the distance. I was like, well, if there's a big Christmas tree in Park City's main street that I missed out on, how could I do that if I'm trying to do a holiday video? So I will wrap things up looking at the big giant tree tucked away over here.